Good morning, I'm Sean Kantayashi with Sock and Valley Cute and Cuddly Toy Schnauzers. This little girl is Birdie. Today we are focused on teaching Birdie and Toffee the stay command. Up to this point, stay has been somewhat implied when we're working on the training bed with them, that we expect them to stay on the training bed, but we haven't been giving them the formal stay command. Now you're going to see how we do that. And this is one of those skills that takes lots of repetition. So we're not showing you the full duration here in the video today of how long we actually spent with Birdie and Toffee, but we're showing you how to set it up so that you can do the same thing with your new puppy at home. Stay is a vital skill that you want your puppies to have. And oh my goodness, my puppies are over here playing like crazy. Can I show that? Hey, you all are playing and having fun with each other, aren't you? Yes. Well, all of my older dogs are masters at stay because it is such an important command and we practice it here regularly in a variety of ways. We're showing you today what to do with, at this age, 12, 13 week old puppies. Please make sure you pace this skill in the sequence that we've taught you how to do. If you haven't seen our other videos, watch those as well. They're in the playlist, how to socialize and train a puppy from eight to 16 weeks old. Here we go with teaching you stay. Reddy is on a stay command at the moment. And Devin is way back there. She was ducking into the kitchen and hiding from him, but he's doing a fantastic job of honoring the command stay. She's going to call him to her now, and you'll see what happens here. That's what we're building up to with the puppies that we're working with. We're not there yet. We'll be teaching them to stay and working on stay with them. But I wanted to show you what we're building up to. Birdie is very excited and happy to be doing her routine this morning. But I notice she's also somewhat distracted, so this will be interested, interesting to see what happens as we start teaching stay this morning. So we're going to use the stop sign hand signal for stay. And this is fantastic because Daddy. you and Birdie get to see corrections yes, now. Faces. Stay. So I would do yes. a yes stay. Yes stay. Yes, Birdie. Yes stay. Yes stay, Birdie. Yes stay. Yes stay. Yes, Birdie. Yes stay. Notice how Devin is bringing her hand, the treat hand, down in a J form under Birdie's chin. I'm pointing that out because that's an important part here in working with a dog and teaching stay. So there will be hundreds of times yes. where we are doing this, this simple yes stay with the hand signal. Yes, and teaching that hand signal with the stop sign hand is very important because there are times yes, where your dog is farther away from you and might not be able yes, to hear stay. you, but you'll need them to see the hand signal and recognize that you're telling the dog that you don't want them to move. Now, as we teach this, we might not, um, yes. we might just go very slowly. With your puppy, I want you to go very yes. slowly in this. 
but the next step would be that Devin would step back about a foot and we would yes. see if she can maintain that. I don't know that Birdie's ready for that yet, but if your puppy is ahead in learning stay, that's what happens next. Yes. And stay. we could literally spend five minutes here just in the practice of stay. I won't have all of that on the video, but I want you to know that we are allocating yes. time to yes. this like that and reinforcing yes. Birdie's yes. confidence that she's got it. Now we'll do at least two, three, maybe even four or five more minutes of stay, yes. and then I'll come back and show you the end. Birdie has been doing such a great job with staying when Devin has asked her to. And so now we'll move into letting her do something else, which could include either calling her off of the training bed or having her do exercises on the training bed. And Birdie is definitely yes. saying, I want to do my comfortable routine on the training bed. Birdie. Yes, spin. Yes, down. This is giving them the opportunity to play to their strengths, to play to what they know. It's uh, letting her finish on some of the things that she really knows she likes. You can see the tail starting to wag there as she's doing some of the movement activities on the bed. So the reason I'm pointing this out is because you may say, oh, my dog already knows touch. I don't have to spend time on that. My dog already knows some of these other things. And I would say back to you, please do some of those things that you know your dog loves to do because it keeps the learning fun for them. It makes it feel like play to them. And that's what you're wanting. You're wanting the, the, the learning to feel like play. And you can see that Birdie certainly has that spirit of puppy play as she is learning here with Devin. Yes, Devin. Yes, belly rubs, Birdie. Belly rubs for Birdie! <laughs> Woohoo! Good job, Birdie! Good job, Devin! Toffee's tail is just <laughs> wagging like crazy. He's excited that it's his turn. All right, we'll get... Look at the tail yes, going. Toffee. Yes, spin. Yes, down. Yes, Toffee. Touch. Yes, touch. Spin. Yes, spin. Down. If you've been yes. following along with us since they were eight yes, weeks spin. old, you know how far he's come with all yes. that he's doing here. And what you'll see next is him yeah. learning stay. Watch me. Stay. Yes, stay. Yes, Toffee. Yes, stay. Yes, stay. Yes, stay. And we will repeat this activity yes. for another two or three minutes with him while we're reinforcing. Yes. I think he's going to really love the stay command and what it means. But it's repeating this over and over and over with him. So we yes. will do some of that and I'll come back in a few minutes yes. and bring you back in once we've... Toffee was doing so good with stay on the places bed yes. that we decided to bring him over to the box yes. and let him experience yes. the stay command here as well. Yes, yes, stay. And having me right here 
as a distraction is not the best thing when teaching stay for the first time. But I need to do this for you to be able to see what it's like to teach stay when these kinds of things are happening with your puppy. So you could go back to the place's bed with him then. He's just wanting to come play with me. Buffy, let's go. And we'll call this testimony to the fact that my let's dogs go. love me. But my my uh, <laughs> my testimony to the fact that I love them is that I want them to also know to work for other people, not just me. Yes. Yes, places. Yes, places. Stay. Yes, stay. Yes, Toffee. Yes, stay. So again, if you yes, are doing stay. this at home with your dog yes, and your dog has yes, gotten stay. or mastered all of the other skills that yes, we've been stay. teaching along the way, then stay is the next yes, one stay. here to teach. Yes. So what you're seeing very early, how to do it. We will yes. keep sharing this with you over the next couple of weeks so you can see that the duration of the stay yes. will stay. increase over time. Yes, stay. But good job, Toffee. Good job, Devin. <laughs> we'll keep working with him here. So yes. I won't show you the end of what yes. we're doing stay. with him at this time. Please put in the comments and the questions below what's happening with you and your puppy as you are working with them and what questions or comments do you have for me. I will be doing a live session on Saturday, March 18th at 2 p.m. in YouTube. Come join us. Let me know if you have specific questions or things you'd like me to discuss. But uh, looking forward to seeing you there. Yes.